back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming a life update with you guys. I have been MIA off of social media for a while, but we are about to go in on some questions that you guys have, a lot of rumors that are put out there, a lot of assumptions that have been put out there. Um, I am about to talk about them and just kind of update you guys on what has been going on in my life. It's been hectic, it's been crazy, it's been stressful, it's been depressing, it's been a lot of emotions everywhere. Um, and yeah, let's see what... Let's just get straight into this video. Um, honestly, it feels weird. I haven't done a video in a really long time. I've been really MIA. Like, I post some stuff here and there. I post a lot on my Snapchat, so if you guys don't follow me there, make sure to go follow me. I'll link it in the description below. Alright, you guys, so we are just going to get into sh this video, and I'm going to be answering the questions. I did write them down on a piece of paper. Um, so we're going to get straight into this video. So the first one is, what have you been doing since you've been ghost on social media? Literally, a lot of people ask me, this, like, girl, where have you been? I get DMs all the time. Like, girl, what is going on? Because I am a person that is very active on Instagram, and I've just been ghost. Um, there's honestly just been so much going on in my life. A lot of people were like, oh, it's because her baby daddy's back in her life, so she's ghost. And it's like, no, that's not even the thing. It's like, yeah, he is back in the picture. But I'll get more into that later, like answer questions on that in this video. But it's not even that, you guys. I've just been going through so much different things. Um, you know, physically, emotionally. I honestly don't know if it would be like called like postpartum depression. A lot of people are telling me like, girl, it's postpartum depression. Like you just had a baby. My baby just turned six months. I thought like postpartum depression like hits you like right after you have a baby. So I was like, my baby's already six months, like how can it be that? But honestly, I'm not gonna lie, like I've been feeling super depressed. I've just been going through so much um, with a lot of different things in my life and just trying to get through it. And honestly, I've been, I feel like I've been in my own social media, but also in person too. Like my friends, like when they go out, they're like, girl, let's like, let's go do this. Like, let's go do that. And I'm just like, ah, uh, like, no. Like maybe next time like next time this next time that and i don't know why because that's not me like i am a person that loves to go out enjoy myself have fun do things i hate being home and lately i have just been wanting to be home like i don't know i just feel like i just want to be away from everybody i've been eating a lot i have just been i've been gaining weight i've been i don't know i just feel like going through a lot of different things that are happening to me um, and I'm trying to get through them, which I know I will, but it's been a lot, you guys. I feel like that's why I've been off of social media, and yeah. But let's get, let's go on to the next question. Um, would you try and work things out with your baby, with your first baby dad for the kids? Honestly, yes. I never was like, oh, I don't want you near my kids. Like, I'm going to take the kids from you. It was never that. It was just, I guess, a lot of drama with his partner. And honestly, I'm so over that situation. Like, it's just like, I am in a different headspace. Like, I don't care about her. I don't care about any of that. At the end of the day, the kids are the only ones that get affected. And do they miss him? Yes. Do they want to be a part of him? Yes. Um, and honestly, I'm, I would. I wouldn't mind it. Um, what um what birth control are you on and did you tie your tubes so i did get the depo shot um and if you guys know i didn't want to get the depo shot from the beginning because i did get pregnant on it twice with israel and lyric and um yeah so i am waiting to get the iud and did i get my tubes tied i did not i do not plan i'm not sure yet if i plan on getting them tied or not i'm not sure and it's not even like oh like why don't you want to get them tied like do you want more kids it's not even that it's just i'm so scared to honestly first off i'm scared of any type of surgery like just not waking up for me or something going wrong um and also i don't know i just heard a lot of 
bad things about it and I'm so scared. So I don't know. Um, I think I'd rather just get the IUD and I never got pregnant off of it. I never had complications with it and it worked perfectly fine for me. And it lasts five years, so yeah. Time for the big huge answer that everybody has literally been blowing me up about. I was getting eaten alive. <laughs> I was getting so much negative messages, like people just literally eating me alive. And I was just like, damn. I was just like, dang. But I get it. I mean, you guys have seen all the drama, all the freaking toxicness. Now time for the big question. The question that I get eight in a life for. Um, are you back with Alex? I am not. Um, we are co-parenting. We are... I don't know. There's just so much things that I need to work on, he needs to work on. And just be better for our son and then in the future if it happens then i mean it happens but right now no we are not so stop eating me alive and let me live my life um how's your mental health so my mental health honestly i could say I don't know that's what I'm telling you guys like I don't know if it is like postpartum depression I don't know what is going on but I've been so so extra sensitive and I have been <laughs> just been so sensitive I've been so emotional I've just been like I just want to be by myself which is weird because I'm a person that like loves to be around people and loves to go out and do things like I said and I've just been wanting to be by myself at my house and just eat and just sleep. Honestly, I've just been so tired. I've been getting like really bad migraines like every single day almost. And I just want to sleep and eat. I don't know what is going on. But yeah, I've just been, I've been trying to get through it. But I'm, I would be lying if I told you guys that it's been easy or yeah. Are your baby dad's family back in the kids' life? so if you guys don't know jordan has a youtube channel i will link it down below he was begging me to shout out his youtube channel um he was so excited that day when he kept refreshing his subscribers he was just like so excited and he still to this day like checks it every day so if you guys can go subscribe to him you guys will make him so happy and um yeah i'll link it in the description box but as you guys seen in his video he was at his Tia's house and yes they are back in the, their life which honestly I'm so happy for the kids because they are literally so happy and that's all that matters to me but I'm just gonna keep that part of my life and their life private just because at the end of the day that's their family no matter what so yeah I just wanted to answer that but we're gonna keep that private I won't be talking about it and yeah and I'm only answering it because you guys saw it on Jordan's video. You have a new car. Are we getting a car tour? I do, and I w I don't know yet. Um, if I I have the video already, I just don't know if I'm gonna post it or not. A lot of people <laughs> were like, "Oh, she's this is what I mean by like the internet. You can't believe everything that these T pages like say and stuff because." they just assume things and they just like put rumors out there like they were like oh she's in a rental like because her car is getting fixed like i still have my car my car is still here and i that is not a rental that is a car another car that i have and i don't know if i'm gonna post the video or not um just stay tuned maybe maybe not i don't know what happened to your dad's side of the family never talk about them or him um, honestly, I don't ever talk about my biological dad ever. Um, I don't have a relationship with him. Um, I haven't had a relationship with him. Um, I think the last time I saw him, I honestly don't remember, but I think it was like 14. Um, it could be longer. I'm not sure. Um, I maybe one day i will open up and talk about the reason why i don't talk to him or i don't talk about him or i just 
honestly, I don't see him as a dad and I'd call him a sperm donor for those of you who know, no. Um, hopefully one day I could do a story time on it. Don't know. Right now I'm not ready. Maybe one day it will be. Maybe when I do, maybe I will include my mom in there and have her talk about her experience and just how everything went down. Because there's a lot of things that you guys have no idea about me and what I went through growing up. And yeah. So I don't know. Maybe one day. And as far as my dad's side of the family, I do talk to some like cousins um, from there. And I do talk to them sometimes, like, on social media and stuff like that. Um, something is coming up that I will share when the time happens. But, yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life that you guys have no idea about. Do you plan on doing YouTube forever? I do not plan on doing YouTube forever. Honestly, I'm getting so tired of doing YouTube and just, it's not just like YouTube, I think it's just sharing my life and when I, when my life is private, like how I've been like MIA and stuff and like really not posting anything, I only posted like one video this month, I feel like I'm just so much more at peace and I'm not worried about what people are thinking, what people are saying, what people are doing, like, you know, I'm not worried about it, I'm just like in peace, like, and I think that I miss that so much, like just my life being private. I don't plan on doing YouTube forever. I have some things coming up, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, I've been doing a lot. There's been a lot going on in my life. What happened to the Q&A with Alex? I never posted the Q&A with me and him because I was getting like, a, we never even did it. I was just like, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to do the video together. I was just like, mm, I don't know about the video because there, people were going in. I know I said be raw, but people were like hella raw. I was just like, never mind on the video. So that's why we, <laughs> we didn't do it. He don't care. He's super raw. He doesn't have nothing tiene pelos en la lengua, so he don't give a fuck. He will literally eat people alive too. But I was just like, let's not do that video. How is your gym life going? Are you trying to gain or lose weight? This is a big question. Like this one I get asked a lot if I'm gaining or trying to gain or lose weight. I've been gaining a lot of weight. Um uh, I'm not trying to lose weight or gain weight, I'm just naturally gaining the weight because I'm eating a lot. Excuse me. And um gym life. I was going to the gym, I think I went for like a month straight, but I have stopped. Um, I actually need to start going back. Uh, I haven't been to the gym like in two and a half weeks, so I need to start going back. Um, but I have been just eating my three meals a day, trying to eat snacks in between, but eating like a lot of things that have like, is it protein? Yeah, protein, I think it is. But yeah, I've just been eating like every morning I eat oatmeal, eggs, like two eggs and then like I just started adding like a banana smoothie and I'll eat everything like people are like do you eat everything or do you leave it no bro I eat everything so I eat the oatmeal with the strawberries two eggs avocado half of an avocado and a banana smoothie and I'll eat it all and then I'll eat like lunch I'll eat like chicken and white rice and then for like just stuff that has like a lot of yeah what do we call protein right I'm not sure but just been eating like a lot of that stuff and it's been helping me gain weight um because girl i was losing a lot of weight after i had Xander and i started breastfeeding i lost so much weight and i was like uh uh girl you need to gain all that weight back i know it's been working though because my mom <laughs> last time she was like i mean do you have butt pads on i was like no and then i had her i was like touch my butt right now <laughs> and she's like oh my god your butt is getting huge She's like, it looks like you have butt pads on. And then Ruby, too, she saw me. She's like, girl, she's like, your freaking butt is getting so big. But it's because my legs and my butt, that's where all my weight goes. But I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what. I'm going to be 27. So I don't know if it's because I'm getting older that I'm getting, like, a little pancita, too. Like, my stomach's still flat, but I could see the difference. Like, it's gaining a little bit of weight. And I've been trying to wear a faja because I'm like, uh-uh, girl, like, no, we're not doing that. We're like, right now I have a faja on. But, and I am wearing an extra small on the faja. But I'm on the first hook. So we're trying to get it to the third hook. 
And once we get to the third hook, girl, I'm okay. Um, so yeah, let me see. Um, how is your healing process going? So my healing process, honestly, I guess it's hard at times because it's like I'm healing, but it's also hard because we're with each other a lot and we still have to co-parent for our son. So it's not like I could just like get him out of my life and be like, oh, stay away from me because we do have a baby and Alex is a very, very involved dad when it comes to Xander. Even if we're in bad terms, even if we're fighting, even if we're in a like just not in a talking like how do you say it like even if we're arguing or like whatever we don't we fucking hate each other at the moment if i tell that man hey the baby needs this like he will still come through um regardless so it's super hard because like i said we're almost with each other all the time but i don't know maybe one day we will both heal and either be together and make this relationship work or heal and be the best co-parents and him live his life and be happy and me live my life and be happy because honestly we both deserve to be happy no matter what and even if that means not together um well yeah you guys i it's been a struggle it hasn't been easy especially because there's been so much so much done um even like things that you know nobody knows about just mean him but yeah it's not easy especially when you love somebody it's really hard because i'd be lying if i say that i didn't love him please do more videos with your sisters we miss seeing them my sisters are literally always with me still you guys just like i said don't see a lot because i've been mia and i've been a really private lately with my life my sisters i think they were just over here like two days ago um my sisters are always with me they're my babies i love them so much i don't know what i would do without them because honestly they've helped me so much just get through things when they keep me company and we just do like movies um just things that we do as sisters i love them so much and i'm so grateful for them and yeah I don't know what I would do without them. I love them. They're my little best friends. Um, but yeah, you guys, I will be doing more videos with them then since you guys want to see them. <laughs> Last question that I am going to do. Um, do you see yourself with Alex after everything, even after he cheated? So I wanted to clear this up because this was a lot of the things that in the Q&A with me and Alex or how did you take him back after he cheated on you, this and that. So I wanted to clear this up because I don't know, maybe if people misunderstood when I said that. I found him messaging, you know, whoever. Um, that was when we were not together, but it still hurt because he was trying to get back with me. But we were not together, so it's not like he, he never cheated on me when we were together if that makes any sense. I don't know if people will still call that cheating because he was trying to get back with me. And yeah, but to me, that's not cheating. To me is when you're with me and you're talking to somebody else. I just found out about the messages while we had a fight, but all the dates and stuff were when we were not together. Um, at the moment, he actually lived in Puerto Rico and I was pregnant with Xander. Um, but it still hurt because i was just like i was pregnant with your baby and all the things that he would tell me and stuff like that but he never physically cheated on me when we were together um well at least i've never have gotten proof or anything like that and yeah and do i see myself getting back with him after everything um honestly i feel like if we both change and we both um you know whatever it could be couples therapy whatever just work on ourselves first and work on all the problems that we had i feel like we could be together i don't know i don't want to say yes and i don't want to say no um i do know that i do love this man and i know for sure that he loves me as well even though 
we both do things that we do, say the things that we do. People do it when they're angry and you just fucking explode. And yeah, that's something that we both need to work on. But we just both need to work on ourselves. And even if that means get therapy, which that is something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I am going to start looking into is just fixing all of my trauma from growing up and things that I have went through. I do want to start looking into going to therapy and just talking to a therapist and just fixing, honestly, just working on myself and finding me and loving me and just fixing all my traumas from like my past, from, you know, relationship, my relationship or my me growing up, my childhood traumas. Just a lot of things that I know that I have to heal. And honestly, I always thought like therapy was like, oh my God, like you're doing therapy, like what the heck? But now that I'm older, I just feel like, no, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe you do need somebody to talk to and let all your shit out because you bottle all that shit in and then you just, I don't know. I just feel like, that will be good for me and let me know so if you guys have ever gone to therapy and how it has helped you i want to read your guys stories um dm me on my instagram all my social medias are linked below you guys and yeah that is the end of this life update i hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down video with me i'm going to try to get into more vlogs and um also i am going to have alex be training me with a boxing so if you guys want to see that let me know and we could film it um so i could just do cardio with him like that and yeah so let me know if you guys want me to film that if that would be something that you guys want to see and also in that video i could film like what i eat in a day um let me know if those are things that you would like to see also we have a <laughs> We have a huge announcement. Oh, yes. And then another thing is what me and Ruby have been working on. So, we will probably announce that in February. What we are working on and what I have been doing. What has she been doing and some our project that we're going to do together. I actually have two things that we have been working on. So, I'm super excited to share that with you guys. We'll probably do a video and announce it next month in february sometime i'm not sure the dates but i will get with her talk to her about it and do a video for you guys super excited honestly super excited to be doing it with her because as you guys know she's another person that is super special to me super close to me knows everything about me and has honestly just been another sister to me and has never left me through thick and thin she has been there through all my bullshit she has stood by me same with me and her like i have been there through a lot of stuff that she has gone through and honestly i'm just so grateful for her and i'm so excited to be doing this with her and yeah so um let me know if you guys want to be seeing those videos message me on instagram and I have I have another big announcement that I will be sharing with you guys. I'm not sure if it's going to be the next video or when, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Bye guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, follow me on Snapchat if you guys want to see more of like me every day, my daily life, my cooking, whatever. Follow me on there. Um, I will link it down below. Make sure to go subscribe to Jordan's channel. Um, I'll link that below as well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.